our society now um, milk is uh, a very nutritious uh, product and it is consumed by everybody from children to adult uh, and old people and it is considered uh, as the most nearly perfect food as it contains mo most of the valuable vitamins minerals and other uh, components of food that should be present in a perfect food so 68% of milk is adulterated in india which is very much unfortunate for us now if we see the composition of milk here you can see the fat percentage is slightly higher in buffalo milk compared to cow milk and protein is slightly also higher in buffalo milk water percentage is less in buffalo milk compared to cow milk so different kinds of fat substitutes or water addition may cause uh, different types of adulteration if we go to the milk production status then you can see that milk production in india as uh, milk, um, india is the highest milk producing country so in 2021 210 million tons is the total milk production and per capita availability of milk 2020 is 427 gram whereas it in 1950 it was only 130 grams so from these statistics we can uh, <clears throat> we can understand that how much uh, milk production is increased so uh, we can visualize the nutritional security for our society and also uh, we are very much uh, worried about uh, sustaining the uh, quality and safety of milk and milk products how we can save our product so that consumer can get the real real ideal food <clears throat> now um, issues related to milk and milk products quality here you can see that milk adulteration is done as i am earlier said that 68% uh, milk is adulterated so milk adulteration may be two types hazardous and non hazardous both are under milk adulteration but some are hazardous to our health some are non hazardous contaminants may present like antibiotics aflatoxin m1 pesticides heavy metals microbiology is also important because milk is prone to microorganisms so different organisms are present and it produce lactic acid by using lactose so ultimately the milk uh, cardel and that is why it increased the tendency of adulteration now uh, if we see the procurement of uh, milk uh, farmers generally in village about 70 million farmers are now uh, engaged with these dairy farms in india and 126 million dairy animals are engaged uh, so um, uh, from uh, fa farmers from village uh, coming to the cooperative society village cooperative society where <clears throat> fat taste is done and weight of the material uh, milk can is taken then after that uh, it is coming to the chilling plant where uh, the milk is cooled to layer near about 4 degree or less than 4 degree centigrade where fat, SNF, adulterants and alcohol test is done. Then it is coming to the milk processing plant where every type of uh, adulteration test and other test has been done. Then after processing, the final product coming to the retailers and then to the consumers. <clears throat> Here you can see that middlemen may act at different levels and they may uh, adulterate the milk or may mm, high um, uh, may price hike may be uh, occurs due to the uh, involvement of that middleman <clears throat> in developed nations uh, they, from different dairy farm directly milk is coming to the processing plant 
so this one is encouraged and uh, very much uh, important so that no middleman should be there and no adulteration uh, requirement is there if it is coming directly uh, from the uh, farm to the um, uh, processing plant so in india if we uh, go through this manner then also milk adulteration problem may be diminished so <coughs> <clears throat> less time uh, reach to reach the processing plant and efficient traceability so we can practice uh, in this manner to avoid adulteration now what is adulteration addition of cheaper and resembling substances to milk or removal of valuable constituents like fat so this is called adulteration that means some may be added or some valuable things may be uh, removed from the milk then it is called adulteration according to food safety and standards act 2006 adulterant are any material which is uh, employed for making the food unsafe substandard misbranded or containing extraneous matter <coughs> so uh, milk is highly prone to adulteration why because of its physical chemical nature and heterogeneous and complex fluid it easily hide the admixture of other components and highly heterogeneous system so anything can be added and may be hide due to the nature of the milk so why adulteration is made mainly to uh, reduce the gap between supply and demand also the nature of the milk uh, causes the adult, uh, adulteration and then inadequate organized sectors share in dairy business mainly unorganized sector handle the milk organized sector part is only 25 to 30% milk is handled by organized sector so inadequate share of organized sector also uh, increase the tendency of adulteration <coughs> next lack of efficient and rapid methods for detection of adulterants low purchasing power of the people then difficulties in enforcement of available regulatory standards so uh, if adulteration is made then regulatory standards should be there and immediate action is required which india is lack of <clears throat> adulteration is done because uh, to avoid curdling of milk why curdling is uh, uh, happen because microbiological quality of milk is very poor then acidity that is lactic acid is produced and it curdles the milk so uh, uh, first one is uh, poor microbiological quality second one if cleanliness is not there if the vessel is not properly clean or during collection storage transport any kind of contamination occurs then also microbial load increases another one is lack of cold chain facility in india cold chain facility is limited very very limited that is why due to the absence of uh, this uh, cold chain facility microbial growth rapidly increases utilize the lactose and produce lactic acid that lactic acid curdle the milk now to minimize that curdling of milk what farmers or middlemen do they add sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate sodium hydroxide which are very much health, uh, very much detrimental for our health then they add as preservative formalin hydrogen peroxide antibiotics etc second uh, problem is why adulteration is done to earn profit right if milk fat is uh, replaced with vegetable oil then it will uh, give more uh, profit uh, to the uh, uh, buyer uh, so 
sorry uh, more profit uh, to the industry or more profit uh, to the farmers so they can uh, replace milk fat with vegetable oil then addition of water addition of water is the very common adulteration in milk so if adult uh, addition of water is there then to uh, increase the total solid content maltodextrin starch glucose sucrose urea sodium chloride many more things are added to minimize the uh, to minimize the uh, problem of addition of water that means uh, the viscosity is reduced if we add water so to increase that viscosity to the standard of milk this kind of chemicals are used so there are many kinds of adulteration first one cheaper fluids like as i uh, i have earlier said water they can add whey skim milk and also synthetic milk which is not actually milk but that chemical component which is which resemble milk can be added then cheaper substances like uh, thickening agent maltodextrin starch non protein compounds like melamine urea then emulsifier to impart the impression of color of the cow milk so yellow color can be added then preservative can be added neutralizer like caustic soda washing soda baking soda can be added so a very tough thing to um, to detect the adulterant what kind of adulterant is present in milk it is very difficult because many more things can be added and milk by its inherent nature can hide the addition of everything now uh, if we come to the methodology there are three types of methodology physical method instrumental method and chemical method so uh, if we see that adulterants are uh, added then what kind of health effect is there and uh, why i have said or uh, i have said the topic as threat to the society because if milk is adulterated with urea milk powder starch it causes cancer or acute failure of different types of parts of the organ of the uh, human body system if ghee is adulterated with argemone oil then it causes cancer and another one is dropsy next butter if butter is adulterated with argemone oil or oleo margarine or lard then also it is highly toxic and causes dropsy and sometimes paralyzes the limbs so it is very much detrimental so addition of this kind of adulterant to milk gives a detrimental detrimental health effect uh, to the human body now uh, what is synthetic milk synthetic milk resembles milk but no component of milk is present in synthetic milk what kind of um, components are present water pulverized detergent or soap sodium hydroxide vegetable oil salt and urea so if uh, instead of taking milk if we take synthetic milk it will uh, readily destroy or readily impact our body health system and uh, it will uh, have detrimental effect and uh, uh, any baby if taken then illness is sure now uh, synthetic milk and natural milk so uh, color wise it is okay odor uh, slightly soapy smell sometimes uh, we get from synthetic milk taste is bitter and st uh, during storage and during boiling it turns yellow and if we see the structure uh, when we rub the milk synthetic milk it gives a soapy feel so 
by this uh, manner we can readily uh, detect uh, whether it is natural milk or synthetic milk but somehow it is not so easy to detect only by organoleptic test it required chemical testing in china in 2008 milk scandal occurs the scandal involved milk and infant formula uh, along with other food materials which are adulterated with melamine and these chemicals generally used in milk and milk products to increase the nitrogen content that means uh, it uh, will show higher protein content now what is the detrimental effect 3 lakh victims in china six babies died uh, from kidney stone and 54000 babies were hospitalized so melamine is another thing which actually increase the uh, protein content or mainly nitrogen content which gives a false a uh, result of increasing protein content that can't uh, be detected by general geldel or dumas method now these are the common adulterants reported in milk carbohydrate salt fertilizer neutralizer preservative detergents water extraneous fat oil and other things like soya milk cheese whey synthetic milk melamine like that generally soya milk is added with milk to make paneer so that is also another kind of adulteration in milk product in 2018 national milk quality survey uh, mainly Uh, in 29 states and seven union territories the survey has been done for 6432 samples and that uh, samples were analyzed for fat snf protein added water and 13 adulterants and three contaminants now what was the result the re result shows that 51.7% passed the test that means no adulteration has been done but 48.2% is adulterated so the result is very much very much uh, effective of, uh, in relation to the health issue now 48.2% among this uh, 7% assessed with uh, aflatoxin antibiotics pesticides urea detergent h2o2 neutralizer <coughs> and rest is contains less fat less snf adulterants like maltodextrin and sugar so 7% uh, milk sample contains this kind of adulterant which are very much poisonous toxic to our health now several studies have been made in different states like tamil nadu hyderabad delhi and here you can see in hyderabad the statistics uh, given at the right side that 60 samples are tested in uh, hyderabad uh, and this Uh, among these 60 samples 44% samples uh, having water test positive that means 44% samples are adulterated with water then neutralizer to neutralize the acidity neutralizer are used in huge amount and the uh, positive is 41.6% 35% uh, positive for hydrogen peroxide so this kind of uh, problem is there and we should uh, stop this kind of adulteration by our uh, by our uh, mental uh, mental 
health or by uh, the uh, regulatory authority if we contact with our regulatory authority then can, then they can do something for us and uh, we should aware of that how much amount of adulteration is done around india and state by state uh, here uh, examples are given that this taste give the result of so much amount of adulteration with this kind of adulterant now detection of synthetic milk so uh, as i have earlier said that organoleptically uh, we can assume that it is synthetic milk but there are uh, detection techniques uh, chemical detection techniques here bromothymol blue solution and urease enzyme is used if the color is totally blue at the right side you can see the color is totally blue that means it is positive next detection of starch in milk now iodine solution uh, is used as we know that iodine reacts with starch and give blue color so adulterated milk having starch gives blue color next detection of cane sugar so resorcinol solution is used and resorcinol solution is added to milk then it is placed in uh, boiling water bath for 5 minutes then if the color of the content is red that means it contains the adulteration adulterant next detection of neutralizer here rosalic acid solution is used and if the color is rose red that means uh, it is positive alkali positive next detection of formalin in milk generally as preservative formalin is used so concentrated sulfuric acid is added then milk is added then slowly if we add ferric chloride then at the junction of the two liquid a ring is formed at the right side you can see the ring uh, which gives positive taste so a ring is formed and gives the positive taste next sodium chloride detection or salt uh, in milk silver nitrate and potassium chromate are added and appearance of yellow color indicates positive test next hydrogen peroxide in milk then potassium iodide solution and starch solution are added if the color turns blue that means uh, it is present detection of urea in milk the para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde reagent is used and distinct yellow color uh, is observed then it is positive milk uh, normal milk also without adulteration also give color because uh, this uh, normal milk uh, contains some natural urea next detection of hypochlorite in milk so potassium iodide solution is added and mixed properly a yellow or brown color indicates positive result detection of vegetable fat so here uh, centrifuge is used and by centrifuging fat is removed and that uh, fat is analyzed for butyro refractometer reading as shown at the right side the machine here uh, one or two drops is added and uh, the reading is taken if the reading is 45 or above that means uh, add, uh, addition of vegetable oil is there because the reading for milk is 40 to 43 so above 45 means adulteration with vegetable oil is there detection of buffalo milk to cow milk so naturally we uh, can say that this addition do not have any health issue so why uh, we uh, detect this uh, buffalo milk to cow milk but species um, uh, different species are there so we can't mix buffalo milk to cow milk and sell it as buffalo milk or sell it as cow milk so 
uh, this kind of um, mixing is uh, not possible uh, if we uh, follow the standard act so hansa test is a test uh, that used for this purpose next detection of banaspati in ghee generally banaspati or dalda is used and here hydrochloric acid and farfural solution is used and the color turns pink or red in the acid layer which um, indicates addition of banaspati so these are all are uh, different kinds of chemical methods generally in laboratory or in research field or uh, in uh, universities colleges Uh, this kind of test are done where reagents are prepared with mixing of different kinds of uh, chemicals but uh, in industry where time is very short then this kind of act is not possible that is why heat based methods are available here already the reagent is uh, ready and if we add milk with this then it give the color and from this color we can get uh, a uh, opinion that it is a positive test or negative test this uh, um, kit based methods based on wet chemistry so biosil also have this kind of kit and here you can see that uh, tube is uh, there in the tube Uh, already uh, uh, reagent is present and just uh, drop wise milk if added then it will give and then mixing is done and then it will give the color if the color is color matched with the adulterant color then it means it uh, has positive test uh, nice chemicals also have adulteration test kit uh, like this and uh, this test is is used in our university also uh, so very nice so if industry uh, people uh, want to um, test this they can uh, go through this uh, so this kind of adulteration kit bottles are available and directly in test tube uh, with milk if we add this and uh, compare the color then we get the result another is strip test so strip uh, with uh, reagents are there if we pour the strip into milk it gives color so here you can see positive neutralizer blue color negative neutralizer yellow color positive glucose red color negative white color like that manner strip test is there and the advantage is rapid method no equipment is required and uh, very much sensitive and possible to do in milk products also so these kits are um, available by delmos and verka next 3d paper based milk adulteration detective uh, detection device this kind of device uh, generally um, very much useful because at a time many adulterants can be detected so, so department of mechanical engineering indian institute of technology madras chennai developed this kind of uh, 3d paper based strip so here you can see that number one is control that means no color is changed and other uh, samples here you can see that uh, different test are done so at the middle point sample is given and it's gradually spread uh, and to the dish and if color is uh, changed then compare the color and we get the results so at a time we get uh, 8 or 10 or 12 samples um, so that it is very much useful and also uh, less time is required 
another next is instrument based methods so milko screen is there uh, so it can uh, detect the adulterant uh, like sucrose maltodextrin ammonium sulfate added water so uh, glucose sorbitol melamine so this kind of instrument can be used milko screen uh, milko screen but it is costly it is a costly uh, method next one is milko scan these also have adulteration detection uh, type uh, milko scan is there next is uh, lactoscope where uh, this kind of adulterants we can detect by this lactoscope and products if uh, or not only for milk it is designed for yogurt whey cream ice cream and their adulteration can be detected by this um, lactoscope so here the at the left side um, the name of the adulterants are given this kind of adulterants can be detected by this lactoscope next is uh, uh, handheld device where a small device is used and in our mobile the result will be given next is skir uh, scanner scanner where also this kind of electronic milk adulteration tester so this kind of adulteration uh, can be detected and next so uh, up to this it is uh, instrument based methods next one is nanotechnology based approaches so what is nanotechnology technology in nano scale that means between 1 to 100 nanometer so richard feynman uh, the nobel laureate of 1965 in physics is the brain child of this nano technology so here a gold um, particle is taken gold uh, macro particle and if uh, we get the uh, nano particle that means if we gradually decrease the size of the particles at the right side you can see the different colors of the solution occurs that means color change is there in the if we reduce the size of the particle and nano scale if the color is uh, different so here you can see that um, addition of salt aggregates gold nano particles so at 100 nanometer in uh, nano scale when salt is not added so no aggregation occurs of the gold particles but when salt is added in the blue color here you can see that aggreg aggregation occurs and it uh, due to aggregation uh, this color is changed from uh, red to blue so nanotechnology is another approach new approach in the field uh, which we can take as uh, detection of adulteration so uh, adulteration of cow milk with buffalo milk as we detected by chemical method hansa test here by carbon nanoparticles it can be detected in this strip uh, milk is uh, drop wise milk is given and the color of band uh, give the result that means positive or negative next uh, another one is um, adulteration of goat milk and this is done by colloidal gold immunoassay strip and that strip gives the result so here you can see the detection level of detection is 0.5% level it can be detected the um, the band is clear at 0.5% level so level of detection is 0.5% next this um, type of uh, strip is available uh, for cow's milk mixing with sheep goat or human milk and also goat milk with sheep milk this kind of detection strip is available by biotech now uh, construction of lateral flow strip for detection of soy milk in milk 
so here also uh, this uh, nano gold nanoparticles are used uh, for detection of soy milk in a strip with uh, milk next one this is uh, the uh, rapid detection of uh, rennet whey with milk powder here also nanotechnology is applied and this kind of uh, strip at the right side you can see negative only one blue uh, color band positive here you can see blue is present and red color comes that means it is positive so this kind of strip gives the positive uh, result of this kind of adulteration for this kind of adulteration next one is a uh, colloidal selenium immunoassay for detection of melamine so here also and also gold particles uh, are there uh, gold nanoparticles which also can detect uh, melamine present in milk and milk products and so here also uh, kit system kit based based system um, here also uh, in negative two uh, two parallel three uh, two parallel bands are there and for positive only one so this gives the positive result and very uh, fast result we can get another one is silver nanoparticle that can also detect melamine in milk and animal uh, feed a uh, feed uh, here you can see uh, that at 5% uh, in 1.75 ppm addition this test gives positive result next dairy uh, experts develop nano deep strip to detect milk adulteration so that kind of nano deep strip also very much effective and very much time uh, less time consuming method so this method based on nano and micro capillaries so here uh, in one strip many uh, multiple adulterants can be detected so multiple adulterants uh, in one strip we can detect by getting the color different color for different adulterants so very much useful and very much uh, time less time consuming method so very much effective uh, for industries so to conclude i want to say that uh, adulteration affects the health and also uh, it re reduce the nutritional value of the milk and milk product so consumer when buy uh, milk or milk product uh, so they get less nutritional uh, benefit and also the health of uh, them or their children or adult people uh, is totally uh, affected many analytical methods are available so maybe weight chemistry maybe kit based maybe strip based maybe nanoparticle based so many methods are available but the problem is that nanoparticle based methods require less time but the cost of that kind of strips is very high so uh, the um, main thing is to uh, if we want to um, increase the use of this kind of new technology we have to think about how i we can reduce the uh, cost of that kind of strip so that it can be distributed door to door because uh, in home also if we collect milk from different local vendors whether adulteration is there if kit is available then in every week or maybe in one month from same vendor milk we can taste uh, directly so uh, 
it it may happen happen if the cost is reduced in near future i think that uh, it will happen and another problem or challenge for the industry dairy industry is that commonly used adulterants are changing rapidly day by day so different different methods we have to um, we have to develop so that we can detect new new types of adulterants so less expensive method is required nanotechnology uh, is not uh, up till now is not a very um, cheaper method so wet chemistry that means uh, that heat based methods is uh, cheaper than other methods so we should go a long way to uh, detect the adulteration and protect our consumers uh, so that they are uh, the society will be benefited thank you any question hello hello do you hear me ma'am hello yes yes i can hear you ma'am i am gautam chatterjee from calcutta ma'am <coughs> yes actually what i want to know you have mentioned that uh, there is uh, hazardous item and non hazardous item ma'am so yes in case of hazardous item which element is the hazardous item in milk ma'am urea sodium hydroxide sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate they are hazardous uh, these all hazardous items in milk are inborn ma'am or otherwise someone uh, put it in the milk uh, is it uh, uh, no no it is uh, uh, it is added from uh, from uh, extraneously okay it is not present in milk it is added for adulteration purpose okay and another question is madam uh, that is i have heard uh, lactose is used in milk uh, uh, what is the purpose of lactose in the milk lactose is the main carbohydrate of milk and generally uh, for uh, um, uh, for production of uh, milk lactose should be in standardized uh, manner so uh, i never heard that lactose is added if lactose is added there is no detrimental effect maybe uh, mainly generally glucose and sucrose are added as sugar uh, so that if water is added so the viscosity is reduced and to increase that viscosity generally solid not fat that is sucrose glucose they are added my another question is madam how can we get the idea with the naked eyes that our yeast milk is adulterated uh, through naked eye uh, we can uh, detect uh, by testing if the milk Uh, is uh, acidic then we can reject by uh, putting a small drop in our palm if it is easily fallen down that means uh, it contains yeah, water and and if it is not fallen down instantly that means it is real milk so this kind of uh, small uh, two or three adulterants we can detect but generally chemical method gives the main result an idea what kind of adulter adulteration has been done another thing madam uh, what is there any standard ph level of pure milk ph ph 8 ph level is there any ph level yes ha yes, yes. uh the ph range is uh, 6.4 to 6.6 for milk in pure milk ma'am pure milk 
so we often hear that drinking milk uh, uh, causes gas or acidity in health is it happened mm. due to ph level fluctuation no generally this is called a lactose intolerance in milk uh, lactose is present and when we uh, take this milk lactose has to be digested and for that digestion enzyme is required and that enzyme is known as lactase so some people have problem generally in adulthood the problem becomes more uh, mostly uh, that lactase enzyme is not secreted a less amount of lactase enzyme is present in our stomach that is why lactose is not digested and directly coming to the colon and causes uh, gas and also it is utilized by the colon bacteria and produce acid that is why acidity and gas is there happen madam you mentioned synthetic milk uh, yes. is it the artificial milk ma'am synthetic milk is artificial yes artificial milk it is not come from any animal ma'am no my last question uh, not question madam actually we have a milk adulteration kit which have 13 parameters you know probably ma'am uh, that is uh, yes. uh, sugar glucose uh, detergent dextrose sodium chloride acidity and heat stability hydrogen peroxide formaldehyde mastitis uh, maltodextrin and nitrate nitrogen madam uh, do you suggest any other parameter should include in the pack which can help the uh, consumer ma'am yes if you can uh, uh, add that one thing is detection of melamine which is used to increase the protein content but it is very much detrimental effect on our health mainly kidney stone formed death may be occur so melamine you can add detection of melamine ma'am melamine okay madam many many thanks from my end thank you hello yes hello 